Hello there folks and happy Sunday to you. It's lovely to see you again as usual and thanks for taking five minutes out of your day over in my wee corner of YouTube just to show you what I made for the family meals as usual starting all the way back on Monday through till today which is Sunday and I hope that I find you very well indeed and you've had some tasty things for your tea this week and as usual any videos that you see here or meals that I've done a video on I'll leave them linked under Underneath in the description box. So on Monday we had fish and chips. This is a big favourite with us. So we had some chips, some mushy peas just for a change, you know, from the usual garden peas. That's a breaded fish fillet just on the top and we had some parsley scattered on the top with a wee wedge of lemon and we also had some tartar sauce on the table as well and yeah we all love fish and chips I don't know if it's just a British thing but it's really popular here especially out the chip shop but we don't have it out the chip shop that often and this is you know it's nowhere near as nice but it's really tasty and then moving on to Tuesday we had a very simple penny bolognese so I would typically make spaghetti with this kind of thing but I had some penny there. I've got loads of penny that I need to use up so I just used the penny instead and this is my standard bolognese or beef ragu. We had some grated mozzarella or mozzarella on the top. I'm always being told off for that. You know, it's mozzarella. I just say mozzarella. It comes out my mouth a lot easier than mozzarella with some garlic bread on the side. And moving on to Wednesday, we had steak and mushroom pies. So I made some creamy mashed potato for the side and also some buttered green beans as well and that's a steak and mushroom pie no extra gravy because there's loads of gravy in this pie and I couldn't cut it open to let you see or that would have just you know the gravy would have gone everywhere but you can imagine it's just pieces of steak and gravy and mushrooms yeah absolutely delicious as well and then moving on to Thursday, we had another pasta dish. This was a garlic and mushroom spaghetti. So this is just boiled spaghetti. And then in another pan, I made the sauce. So it's a lovely garlicky, creamy, mushroomy, white sauce and when the spaghetti is ready I just add the spaghetti to the sauce and give it a good toss around and again we've got some garlic bread on the side and a wee bit of pepper as well and I also had some parmesan cheese on the table for those that wanted to add the parmesan cheese and then moving on to Friday one we haven't had for a wee while and I absolutely love this this is my favourite Scottish soup although it's more like a stew you know it's very very hearty it's smoked hard and there's leek and potato and it's just lovely and creamy and full of flavour and I do have a video recipe for this I will leave underneath the video we had some parsley on the top as well with a wee bit of pepper and some croutons and some lovely warm crusty bread straight from the oven and that's just lovely and filling it really is a meal in a bowl you don't need anything else it's so filling and then moving on to yesterday, I made a lasagna. So we had some side salad. So there's salad leaves, there's cherry tomatoes, some Parmesan cheese and just a wee bit of Caesar dressing. Some chips as well. We love chips and lasagna. Again, I don't know if it's just a British thing, but we love <laughs> chips with lasagna. Anything like this. And I know it's double carbs, but it's just so lovely when the chips mingle with that lovely creamy sauce. It's just amazing. And the, the, <laughs> the lasagna's had a bit of a landslide. If you can, you're better doing lasagna the day before or the night before and it will hold its shape. But yeah, this was done the same day, so it's not a perfect square and then moving on to today we had shepherd's pie and as an actual shepherd's pie because this one was made using lamb mince that I had in the freezer again I do have a video recipe for this one I will leave underneath the video and we had some buttery swede on the side and that's got some white pepper in it as well and a wee bit of black pepper just on the top before I pop this onto the table and this was delicious one of our favorites again really easy to make but it's just so comforting and warming especially for this time of year so thank you so much for watching if you're still here at this point and a huge thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my patreon page to the channel members here on youtube as well and for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well i'm very lucky to have you and 
I do have a wonderful community of people here. So thank you all so much. And I do have to update those wee lists, which I do every few weeks. So if your name isn't there, it will be shortly. So I'm going to go now and wish you a wonderful rest of your day. And I will catch up with you during the week back here on What's For Tea. So take care and bye for now. Bye now.